hello friends welcome to my channel once again and in today's video we will be learning how to enable or turn on system protection this video will cover how to do system restore why system restore needs to be on and how we can turn the system protection on to enable the system restore feature in your computer. Now system protection is something that lets you restore your computer back to a previous state. Suppose something goes wrong with your computer but yesterday it was working fine. So if system protection would be enabled then you will be able to restore your computer back to yesterday and your computer will again work fine. Now system restore may or may not fix the problem but if you should at least have it enabled so you can try something before just resetting your computer back to factory and in order to enable system protection uh, we will have to go to control panel so in your computer uh, you can simply type control in the Cortana search and click on control panel at the top and in control panel you need to double click on recovery once you open recovery you need to click on configure system restore So at the moment on my computer the system protection is disabled. Now I'll show you how or what you will see if the system protection is disabled on your computer. Suppose you want to restore your computer back to a previous day or date. So press and hold Windows key and push letter R or you can right click on the start button and click on run simply type rstrui dot exe and press enter now if your system protection is disabled and you're planning to restore your computer back to previous date this is the message which you will get restore system files and setting it will say system protection is turned off to turn it back on click here so either you can click there but this is something you will get uh, when you will try to do system restore that means you will not be able to restore your computer back to a previous date so unfortunately you will have to go to a different step so that is the reason it is important to keep system restore enabled so suppose something goes wrong uh, after a certain point of time you can at least restore your computer back to a previous state so to enable system restore we need to go to control panel we can simply type control panel in the Cortana search and click on control panel and in control panel we will have something called recovery we will click on recovery and we will click on configure system restore we will select the C drive and click configure and simply click on turn on system protect uh, turn on system protection click apply and ok and apply here and ok here too if it asks you simply close it and now if you will try system restore it should work simply right click on the start button click run and we already have rstrui.exe so we will click ok ok now we as we open system restore it says no restore points have been created on your computer if you have just enabled the system restore on your computer getting this message is fine uh, because we have no restore point on the computer 
that is the reason it shows that so what you need to do after enabling system protection or system restore you need to make sure that you create a system restore point also now in order to create a system restore point same way we will have to go to a control panel and open recovery and now we will create a system restore point by simply configuring system restore and here there is a there is an option create a restore point so we'll click on that option you can name it I will name it like test and click on create so it will go through a process and will create a restore point okay so the we got the message the restore point was created successfully we can close it we'll click ok and we'll close this now if we try system restore so we will get the option as soon as we click on next here it will show you a restore point available which was created on november 5th suppose on november 15th there is a problem in your computer you can go to system restore select this point and you can restore your computer back to this particular date and probably your system will recover from that problem but remember if you restore your computer back to a previous date suppose on 15th of november you are restoring your computer back to 5th of november it will not delete any of your personal information like pictures documents music or uh, videos but it will uninstall or remove any program that you have installed during that period between 5th of november and 15th of november if you have installed any software unfortunately that will be removed by system restore otherwise if you have just saved the files and documents pictures they will be there so in order to perform system restore you need to simply right click on the start menu click on run and type a command that is rstrui.exe and click ok and it will open up the dialog box you can follow the prompts click next choose a restore point uh, depending upon the problem and when your computer was working absolutely fine and in system restore this is the date and this is the description which will tell you what happened on that particular day and at the right hand side it would be type means if you have manually created the system restore or if the computer has created system restore point that is automatic restore point and this is not the only way to do a system restore this way is only helpful if you are able to get into your computer if you are not able to get into your computer suppose your computer is not even booting into windows at that point you will have to go to recovery options of your computer now if you are using um in this video i'm specifically talking about windows 10 so if you have a windows 10 pc which is failing to boot it will go to automatic repair and will give you options either to reboot or choose advanced options so if you are getting that point you need to choose uh, advanced options when you go to advanced options you will see the options uh, and you you can go to troubleshoot 
and then advanced options again and then there will be op first option to restore your computer back to a previous state uh, now depending upon the brand you have suppose you are using an hp computer as soon as you turn the computer on you need to tap f11 and it will take you to those options if you're using uh, a dell computer then you will have to try rebooting your computer multiple times like crash it multiple times turn it on and turn it off or turn it on and turn it off and then it will work or in a no boot situation it will give the option automatically well that's it in this video please share my videos and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and thank you very much once again you have a great day bye bye